There was a time when Doctor Strange was one of the greatest threats to the multiverse and was strong enough to destroy entire worlds with a single word. More dangerous than Thanos and his entire cabal. More dangerous than Galactus, the devourer of worlds. Hell, the Avengers across all realities at their best could not even stand a chance. This is perhaps the most powerful version of Doctor Strange there has ever been. This is Black Priest Doctor Strange. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to Plot Armor comics with notifications on. This is a brand new channel and we could seriously use the support. Now to properly understand just how powerful this version of Doctor Strange is, we will need to firstly understand the newfound source of his power and the reason he needed it at all. Put simply, the world was ending. But more accurately, all worlds were ending. This was on account of a series of cataclysmic events known as incursions, which entailed the sudden collision of whole universes, with two Earths being the initial point of impact. Now with that being said, a particular means of avoiding such a fate would be the destruction of one of the Earths involved prior to collision. And unfortunately, each time an incursion is successfully completed, the multiverse subsequently shrinks, increasing the rate to which incursions occur. So suffice to say, something needed to be done, and quickly. Now, in the primary Marvel Universe, what we know to be Earth-616, the Illuminati, a collective of the most influential figures in their respective fields of expertise, were the very first to learn of these events, and being the ever-secretive group that they are, refused to divulge such information to anyone beyond their ranks. At the time, the figures involved being Reed Richards, better known as Mr. Fantastic, Black Bolt, Captain America, King T'Challa the Black Panther, Tony Stark, also known as Iron Man, Namor the Submariner, and of course, Dr. Stephen Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme. Now to paint a better picture of just how perilous their situation happened to be, at the behest of the Ever Valley and Captain America, the Illuminati gathered the many Infinity Gems, referred to as the Infinity Stones by the MCU, and with their combined use by way of the Infinity Gauntlet, successfully managed to repel a single incursion. However, in the process, the Infinity Gauntlet and five of the Infinity Gems were destroyed, with the Time Gem in particular outright disappearing. Past this, Doctor Strange, despite the summons of his peers, would begin to take matters into his own hands, and do so by way of the Blue Dakor, the Blood Bible, an absurdly dangerous tome whose spells, according to Wong, have never not caused the death of the caster. To simply touch it was to stain one's soul. According to legend, it required the spirits of 40 fallen men and one of the righteous. But despite Wong's concerns, Doctor Strange was entirely intent on using it as he did not fear the cost, as the true fear was to be found in his reason for opening it at all. But there was no time to spare. Knowing the cost of such a path, Strange would entrust all that he possessed into Wong's care, telling him to, from this point, treat every moment of every day as if it were his last. As right now, such a thing was entirely possible. The Blood Bible's teachings construe the preconceived notions of light and dark, good and evil, chaos and order. It ascribed goods greater than good and darks darker than dark. Inconceivable states beyond typical understandings of natural and supernatural. In order for Doctor Strange to perceive such truths, he was first required to forever abandon the previous ways in which he saw all things. This was the equivalent of tearing out one's own eyeballs for the sake of seeing anew. The removal of one's tongue for the sake of uttering new speech. To go through with this, Doctor Strange needed to sacrifice everything. And in doing so, he from there would find himself transported to a location known as the Lost Lands, a place that was supposedly ancient beyond ancient, governed by rules old as memory itself. The denizens of which, for the most part, looked to be particularly fiendish in appearance. But make no mistake, no manner of trickery was at play here, as there were only transactions and nothing more. And once Doctor Strange successfully agreed to these terms, he was brought to what is known as the Sinner market. Here all manner of commerce would be facilitated, however, there was most definitely a general skew towards the darker sorts of things such as demonics and necromancy. Not only that, but the market has a tendency of adapting to the buyer. And so the longer a person stays, the more things would begin to catch their eye. However, the intentions of Doctor Strange here were more than certain. What he desired was power. Power even greater than those afforded to him as the Sorcerer Supreme. He, by his own admission, needed the power to move whole worlds and shake them to their very core. 
enough power to tear planets from above and place them in entirely new skies, which would bring him to what is known as the Resolute Throne, a place that a person could only ever enter once. And as it turns out, two Sorcerer Supremes had been here before him, but of course, they were no longer among the living. In the case of power, the transaction was clean, while the price was steep, the payment of which could not be skewed, messed with, or altered in any manner. But this all depended on the proportions of the deal being struck as the throne dealt in degrees of godhood. For a fifth of a god's power, it would require the exchange of 20% of his soul. And when the time came for Doctor Strange to make the deal, what he traded was all of it. With this, Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme, the foremost master of the mystic arts, would now also be the Great Eye, leader of the Black Priests. And at this point you may be wondering, who are the Black Priests? Well, they are multiversal entities believed by Doctor Doom to essentially be the antibodies of the multiverse, selectively used by Doctor Strange as its field surgeons. They were spawned for the sole purpose of stopping the incursions, and to do this, they destroyed destroyed as many Earths as possible in an effort to restore equilibrium to the multiverse. And let me tell you, these things were no joke. Each of them possessed tens of thousands of unfathomable minds, the reading of which nearly broke Professor X. Not to mention they were virtually invincible on account of their ability to reorganize their own matter. I mean, the combined forces of Iron Man, Black Bolt, and even Captain Marvel failed to decisively take down even a single one of them. And we haven't even gotten to the true power, what are simply known as the words. Each priest is able to utter a single reality distorting letter unique to themselves that means something. And when the letters are used in tandem with one another, that something also changes depending on the sequence and how many letters are used, allowing them to form words and distort reality in a multitude of different ways. Also, their purview is multiversal as they were able to sense that they were being observed from a world beyond the one in which they were presently on. Their powers failed to be accurately categorized as either science or even magic. It was something more. And with ease, they slaughter the combined forces of Iron Man, Professor X, Magneto, Mr. Fantastic, two Black Panthers, Black Bolt, and Captain Marvel. And this is what makes Black Priest Doctor Strange so terrifyingly powerful. Unlike the invincible world destroyers at his command, mind you, Black Priest Doctor Strange does not just speak in letters. He speaks in whole words, all of them. And each time, the word he uses to destroy a world is life. Black Priest Doctor Strange is a god that possesses an understanding of reality well beyond that of any mortal being, and so long as he has the ability to speak, is virtually unstoppable. And even then, he still very much has access to his abilities as the Sorcerer Supreme. So yeah, this has been Black Priest Doctor Strange, soulless destroyer of worlds across the multiverse, and arguably the strongest iteration of the character. We really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to Plot Armor Comics with notifications on, because when it comes to bringing you some of the best comic content on the platform, Plot Armor has you covered. As always, I'm Slice of Otaku. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.